Okay, yeah. So I just picked a game that was pretty short. I haven't played it before. And... Um, and I like plants. And I like potions and things. So that's what it, this game seemed to be about. It's called... Strange Horticulture. You've never heard of it before. I think I saw that Gab Smolders was playing it. A while back. And I didn't watch it. But, hey, my degree is in horticulture. So... Gotta check it out. <laughs> uh, Gab Smolders is a pretty big YouTuber. She does a lot of... Um, a lot of horror games and a lot of like um a lot of chill games a lot of uh like nancy drew style games as well she's she's european i forget which one it is where's my phone <laughs> there it is it's in my pocket um, she is dating Jacksepticeye, but she was plenty big before they got together. Do do do. Gab smolders. <coughs> do, 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 do. Formerly Girl Gamer Gab and GG Gab. She is Dutch. So, surprise! Only watch four types of video. Omori, animation, essay, and game review. <laughs> I like her. She's very, she's very chill. Watch, started watching her play the new um, Dark Pictures anthology game. <laughs> Going to bed soon? Oh my goodness. Well, hello. I hope this helps you wind down. Thanks for stopping in. Oh boy, 7 p.m., yeah. Cool, you, yeah, cool, you cat. She's desperate for attention. Oh, I appreciate you. Okay, I don't talk at all in the morning because there's no one to talk to, so my throat's always just like, oh, hey, maybe I should try to remember to do vocal warm-ups or something. Also, the occasional educational video, because sometimes the most random forms of education interest me. Mm hmm I have a friend who's been on stream actually before, Codename, uh, Codename B, or I think on Twitch his name is, who is Codename B? Um, he did a video on the... Oh boy. History is my weakest subject. How the banks were something something Haitian. Uh, okay, let me just... Let me just find the video and put a link in. You might find it interesting. I found it very interesting. Uh, ba 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 while we're still getting warmed up and before I get in the games. Um, I thought it was Haiti. Hello? Mouse? You going to work? Hello? This page is slowing down Firefox. Yes, I see. Hmm, that was weird. Um, and... Triptyline, trip, trip, amphi, trip, trip, triptyline. I can't spell it. Okay. Help! How do I spell amphitriptyline? How banks destroyed Haiti. That's the one. Oh, my friends. Pause. 
Okay. He only has one video out right now, so it's not a big investment. But yeah. I think his voiceover is great. I think it's really well told. I certainly learned a lot. And now I'm going to start the game. Uh, ba -ba. Okay. Oh, Kui is waiting so patiently for more pets. Is the audio level okay? Is it... It looks like it's okay to me, but maybe it's a little too quiet. There's some soft piano music going on in the game. Yes. Okay, good. Alright, here I go. Strange horticulture. The streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out at the upper floors so the neighbors can reach across and shake hands, or more likely, exchange unpleasantries. Continue. I clicked the button. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants, you may have noticed, need light, and light in, is in short supply at street level in this town. <clears throat> It is indeed not unbalanced, very wrong failed. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm, I'm moving on. I don't understand. Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. No. I'm just using the not not joke. Okay. Yeah. Day one, Friday. This game features some small text. If you're having difficulty reading, you can hold shift to zoom in. That is very good to know because my eyesight is bad. Yes, the, the double negative. I have to take a little bite of my brownie. Um. Okay, we got plants. We got a note. We have a kitty cat and a bell. And a uh, water stained desk situation and a cat totally in front of the screen we are if you would sit on my lap you would make me so happy honey right here oh so how is my day been pretty good i slept in as per usual um i've been listening to anne of green gables on um on Spotify, which I haven't read since I was in like middle or elementary school. It's cute. Come on, Kuya. Oh, how has your day been? Okay. Uh, let's see. We also have a will to explore, a closer inspection, and a rising dread. Hi. Hi, honey. This thing does something. Oh, sneaky drawer. Items, clues, letters, archive, labels. Okay. I found it. An excerpt on the exclusive wandering view. Okay, well, instead of zooming my face in. An excerpt on the elusive wandering view. Come to the library in Ambl Ambleside, and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the Gilded Dendra that might be of interest. Simone. P.S. Give Hellebore a good scratch behind the ear from me. Oh, that must be the kitty. Pretty nice. Just doing manual work and chilling. Have also gifted a friend a game. Nice. Which game? Okay. 
So it looks like the Wandering View and the Gildedendra are probably both plants. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, I click on the things, but I don't know how to use them. Oh, kitty. I gifted him Portal. Ooh. He has wanted that for like six months, and it was on sale for 97 cents, so why not? That sounds like a... Um, perfect situation, yeah. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Scroll left and right. Oh. Okay, here we go. He's always broke because he keeps spending his money on anime. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Not as spongy as most mushrooms. In fact, the undersides are somewhat sharp. Red warts protrude from the caps. Kuya is pushing my microphone away from me. Honey. Or video game merch. Yeah. Okay. Um, fun fact. Mushrooms are not plants. <laughs> and though I worked in a museum of natural history in their, um, in their, oh, hello, Toby. Oh my goodness. In their scientific collections, um, I worked in a herbarium, which is for plants. The fungarium, for fungi, was attached, but, um, not because they're related at all, just because they happen to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a cat in my lap, and I have a cat on the desk in front of the screen, between the microphone and the screen. <laughs> I'm trying to finish off a brownie. He has, like, a closet filled with plushies. Not a plushie on the shelves. You know, it's stuffed with plushies. Opening it will literally make 40 or so plushies instantly fall on you. Was it like the show... What was it? Zaboomafu or something? Oh, I watched this when I was very young, so it's like a very old show. 90s, probably. Probably late 90s. Where they're in uh, Madagascar... Two, two brothers and they go out and they explore or whatever and they have a lemur friend but every time they want to go out they have to get something out of the closet and the closet is always full and it pushes them over every time every episode so it's like that but filled with soft things instead of like exploring equipment <laughs> I have a cat on my lap famous last words of the person who loved their cat too much as the house was set on fire and they can't move. Yeah, pretty much. But now they both left. Okay. Okay, let's check out these plants. Blue flowers. Stiff leaves. Well, I could also say that they're very... Um... Oh boy, all the words are escaping me. Very stiff stems. Opposite leaves. Instead of alternating. So they're like right across from each other. Um, petals in fours. This looks like a fungi. Smells faintly of wood smoke. Feels like rough glass paper. Okay. Oh, that's not a plant. Has a scent that scratches the back of my throat. Oh, that's that sounds like an allergic reaction. <laughs> the veined leaves have a waxy finish. Okay, that makes sense from things that I've encountered. These look kind of like cattails, but they're probably closer related to, like, um, peace lilies. The leaves are coarse to the touch. 
and the flowers are drooping. And they are also opposite leaves again. This looks like an orchid. Cream-colored flowers, they smell wonderful. Orchids require um, other organisms to uh, to live. You can't just have a you can't just pull in an orchid from the wild and put it in your uh, potted soil and expect it to live. Let's see. Or his collection of body pillows. You know, I think about it, it's easy to know how he's always broke. <laughs> yeah, body pillows aren't cheap. Can I put these anywhere I want? I can. Okay, small red berries. Um, mm -hmm. Cap mushroom smells strongly of soured milk, bad enough to make the eyes water. Mm hmm. Okay, let's put these fungi together. A white orchestra. In the language of flowers, rep represents the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Hmm. I don't know if that's neat or, like, kind of stalkery. Blue flowers, light airy scent. Also, um... Uh, the thing I said for the yellow one, where they're drooping. Opposite leaves at the base of the plant. Small leaves, delicate flowers. Um, composite flowers. Opposite leaves again. Are they all opposite? It smells of nothing that I could detect. I like these. Mm -hmm. The purple flowers have a light and buttery scent. Okay, these are the Asteraceae family, I would guess. With daisies and sunflowers and... That's a random fact, a, f a random flower fact, I know. Okay. The language of flowers, I believe, was made up by the Victorians, like many things. Victorians made up lots of things. And that doesn't make them, like, not legit and interesting, just... Oh, oh, there's a note here. Give me that. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. The flowers are a soft purple with a sweet scent. Okay, basil flowers again. Six petals. A single pink flower that smells pleasant. Interesting. It's closer to like a succulent or a cacti. The smell is faintly off-putting, but not overpowering. Ooh, curly leaves are rare. Uh, it's pungent, but not unpleasant. The bulb is a soft yellow, the leaves are waxy. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, sneezing time. So this is a bulb plant. Closest to, uh... That one in his name I don't remember. <laughs> so helpful, I know. Another bulb one. It has a sweet scent like strawberry dipped in honey. Ooh. Oh, that's a hole. Okay. Only a couple more. The flowers are made up of many smaller blue flowers. They smell pleasant. Okay. The flowers are red with a sweet scent. And smooth waxy leaves. I appreciate that they're not all flowering plants. Even though most of them are. Rose represents all kinds of things. Red roses represent love, pink, family, and yellow, friendship. The list goes on. I've also heard that pink is for, like, um like crushes They're like romantic but not deeply romantic love or maybe that was something some other flower I don't know okay there's not a lot of point to me actually organizing these so a sunflower named that way because they are believed to always point towards the sun they do actually rotate towards the sun during the day I'm trying so hard to remember these flower facts <laughs> okay 
I have a growing fear deep within me. I cannot let it take hold. Okay. I have neither the time nor the inclination. You can water your plants using the water can to learn to earn will to explore. Oh. Uh -huh. Just Sake's playing the forest. Hi, Sake. <laughs> you playing the forest? I don't know if it matters if I like hold on everyone or if I just like scoot over it or what. Just like real life. I'm trying to fix a building, Mei Mei, that's super wonky. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, okay, you have to water it for a while. Trying, yeah, Ma Matt is trying to remember flower facts. This is a lot of water for each individual potted plant, gotta say. Oh, ooh, this is a big map. Castle, Calder Abbey, Gosforth, Red Pike, Sitalan. Okay, this looks like advancing beyond where I'm ready to advance just now. A map play of Undermere and the surrounding area. Wait, is Undermere is here? Okay. Okay. Uh, no, 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 back out, please. Thank you. Okay, ding. <gasps> Hello, Victoria Gray. Oops, I must have walked past the shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night I hear whispered voices, too faint to hear clearly, coming from the floor above me, but nobody lives up there. Oh, the rooms are empty. My curiosity has gotten the better of me. I must find what they are saying. St. John's Poppy. Hmm. Yeah, that is a big map. Okay, poppies. What do poppies look like? Poppies. I know what poppies look like. I can't remember. Um, no, maybe? Okay, um, I don't know how to know which one of these it is. Clues? Labels? Archive? Letters? Oh, dangerous plant. Grows sparsely in the hills northeast of Backboro. Keep it secret. Lily of the Valley. It's said that there are to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. Cool. I have Lily of the Valley in my yard. Okay. Animals. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Okay, well. Uh, I don't know if you can just sit here forever. Sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Backborough. Let's... Let's go there, I guess. Uh, Lake Hawks. Oh, okay. Backboro to the northeast. So if this is Backboro, northeast would be this one. Oosh. There are more important things I could be doing at the shop. Oh. Okay, I guess. I wasted that. Weird. Can I put this away? How am I supposed to know what <laughs> what the poppy looks like? Um Rising Dread. Cannot let it take hold. Uh, 
Okay, gladiolas, known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character, someone who is honest with strong nor moral values, someone who stands by their convictions. You have an archive whisker, put them in there. These in here? Put, put, put. Okay. I mean, I don't feel I needed to do that yet. There we go. Okay. A note from the author. This encyclopedia can be used as a reference to help identify plants. Note that where I've included sketches, these are not always intended as an aid to identification. Often the description would be more useful for you. Remember to take extra care when dealing with poisonous plants, except no responsibility should injure, injury or death occur as a result of the misuse of this encyclopedia. St. John's Poppy. <laughs> oh, no, but, well, okay. A bright red with a yellow center. Vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a, a draught, having great ability, having greatly imp <laughs> The vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a draught that can greatly improve the imbiber's hearing ability. Papaver Valamedi. Okay, bright red, the yellow center. And they said not to trust the picture, but five petals. Use plant. But ding! Plant identified. Look entry. Collect. Clavillium. Marsilia clavis. According to Levin, legend, clavillium can be used to open any lock, no matter how complex or secure. The heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant the nickname Love Lock. Oh. Okay. Da 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 da. You have okay. you said you wanted to put them somewhere else, so I probably did. I just don't remember. Can you use the hourglass more, it's hard to read. The the uh magnifying glass. Sure. Okay, yeah, this this version of the magnifying glass. Yeah, I can do that. Hi, Kuya. Okay, interesting. And then I can use a, a label. I don't know. I don't know color makes any difference. Yeah, no worries. Okay. <sighs> this kitty has returned. All right, let's work on identifying some of these, huh? Bishop's parasol. Um, I'll do the thing. Bishop's parasol. Episcopus pelabant. A mushroom found in a dark, damp, in dark, damp places, feeding on any light that gets close to it. It can seem to draw light in, enveloping surroundings in darkness. Kuya, you get out of here, little thief! Oh, you okay, on? Are you okay? She seems to be okay. The gills on the underside of this mushroom seep a milky fluid that can be consumed as a treatment for stomach pains. Okay, I'm gonna guess that it's this, it's this one with the... Um... Little, uh, soot sprites. But I'm not gonna say that just yet. Okay, according to legend... Oh yes, we saw that. Love lock. So I would guess that that is not this one. No heart-shaped leaves. Oh, we had one with heart-shaped leaves. This one. Okay. I don't want to jump to conclusions on these. Farmers worry. Agricola Timor. 
a spongy mushroom with potent abilities, only safe to consume in small quantities. Grants great strength for short periods at the expense of severe fig once the effect has worn off. See, it doesn't actually give you much to go off of here. It says don't follow the pictures, and then the only clue we get is a spongy mushroom. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Forest camphory, cam chamomile silva. The strong smelling bulb of this plant has a powerful soporific effect, making it a common ingredient in sleeping draughts. The camphory produces a beautiful rounded dark blue cluster made up of many smaller flowers. Yes, spongy mushroom. I would say most mushrooms are spongy. Did it say it was spongy? Not this one. This one? Not as spongy as most mushrooms. Not quite. Yeah. <laughs> well, the word was there, and that's a good point. Okay. Um, beautiful rounded dark blue custer, make it made up of many smaller flowers. Um, bulb, so it's not going to be this one or this one. Uh, dark blue. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say this is totally okay. Um, hmm? Herp, just because. Okay, Fox Button, Camomum Vulpes, Camomum Silva. An offering of fox button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship between strangers. Thick, shiny leaves grow in opposite, uh, sorry, opposing pairs along the stem. So, you would think it would be a bulb plant like this one, considering it's the same, um, the same genus. But everything else seems to be very different, so don't know. Gandhi root. Apis demesis. A plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles when prepared correctly. Care must be taken, however, as the rough petals can be an irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. Okay, it looks like it's probably this one. Let's go ahead and give this a little leaves or course to the touch. The rough leaves could be an irritant. I don't know. I'm sure I'll regret doing these in different colors later, but... So I can actually look at all of them. So I'm going to go back and forth. Harlequin, 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 Blue, Scura, uh, Carulia, Cerulia. Um, sometimes land things are pronounced in more than one way, depending on what you're in. Uh, when the bushy blue flower heads die back, they release seeds with a downy pappus, 
which assists in wind dispersal. Um, Pappas would be like, uh, like dandelions. Uh, you know, they have the, the fluff or whatever. Once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense. As they burn, they let out high-pitched shrieks, widely believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant. Ooh, that's fun. Okay. Bushy blue flower heads. Dried and hardened. Okay. So it's probably this one. But not necessarily. Okay. Lemon Dandy. Citrum Crispus. Its curled leaves are thought to be the origin sorry, yeah, of the name of this plant, supposedly referring to a peeled lemon rind. Among several medicinal uses, the flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated with curing afflictions of the heart. Curled leaves. It's also possible we don't have every one of the ones in here. But these ones are curled. So it's probably this one. Well, when I tried to explore, it was all like, nah, I got more important things to do. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna round off this first. Okay, put question marks on that one. Mary's breath. Celatum regius. The wide waxy leaves allow this plant to collect the large amount of water it requires. Wide waxy leaves. It is said that a person can be bound to secrecy using Mary's breath. It is used it used to be grown in the royal garden so that the king could ensure the trust of his confidence. But its practice fell out of favor. I mean, people don't want to eat waxy leaves. Um, <laughs> waxy finish. They're very wide. Um, smooth waxy leaves. So it could be either of those. Mellow glow. Cincinus maturus. Among other uses for this plant, the most remarkable is that it can allow a person to pass unnoticed. Though not invisible, it is possible to become hidden from sight and memory. The mellow glow has sharp thorns that protect it from predators. This is the only one we saw with thorns so far. Wren, Ipsum Lavus. The long leaves of the wren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons and can be used to detect them. Though it has no flower, it is said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death and sweet to those who have not. Mm hmm. So probably this one. I'm going to start doing question marks on some of these. Okay, we got St. John's Poppy. Winter boar, aloe, ceruleum, also known as blue aloe or blue winter, after its cool blue-gray flowers. Winter boar is a hardy plant, often found growing in extreme cold environments. The rubbery leaves make an in effective insect repellent when applied to the skin. No, I don't have additional thoughts. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these away for now. 
Let's see if we can explore. I don't have additional thoughts on your arm drawing. Oh, hold the fowen. <gasps> Did I say slurp? It's probably because I was drinking something. Oh, the what was about the slurp slurp. Ah. Uh. Okay, I want to... I want to explore. I want to go northeast. Is it... Okay, does that just mean... It was a bad place to check? Actually, go to Blackborough. Backborough. Barrow. <laughs> Maybe just burn it all down and start it life as an accountant. No. Approaching Backborough, an industrial roar emanates from the ironworks and cotton mill. The blast furnace has a limitless appetite for coal, which is delivered almost daily via the stream steam railway. I pity the dusty workers of this once peaceful place. I suspect there will be few useful botanical discoveries to be to be made here okay let's see if we can help somebody else i guess good morning bloody awful weather out there today good for the plants though eh not i uh, got a letter for you collect oh okay Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger, just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in the cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at, at a bright flower, and tears flowed down my face as a reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall be returning to Undermere soon. Warmest regards. Amos Duncan. Okay. Gosforth is the hateful town. Woods in the south. Northeast corner of the woods. Gosforth, Gosforth, Gosy, Gosy, Gosforth. Woods to the south. Northeast corner. Okay. Compass Rose does indicate that that's in the usual way of seeing it. The wood has a calming effect on my mind. It does me good to escape into nature, away from the stench and clamor of Undermere. It is not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees. Collect. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Pretty. Single sweet smelling dark flower. Gilbert Ames. Something got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way around, down through Backborough. I never did trust that sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now, and I've brought Fennet from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. Uh-oh, I wasn't sure about the lemon dandy. Hardly worth the trouble when you factor in the extra miles I've had to cover to get here. Um. Do, 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 do. Excuse me while I double check the lemon dandy. 
curled leaves. Okay, I'm going to assume it is this one because this is the only one we have with curled leaves. Since it came up so early. Well, okay, no, I do have this one, but this one does resemble the, uh, the thing at the top. Did we just walk across the country and back in half a second? We're cool like that. Or in Europe. <laughs> oh, oh good. Rewards. Collect. Oh. Oh yeah, he said he was trading something to me. I don't remember what he said it was. No. Leaves are quite soft. No, he said what it was and I don't remember. Oh. Oh, I should have been paying attention. Dark blue cluster. cluster. A fennet. That's right. Thank you so much. Okay, it's quite possible it's not in here. Thank you! Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Wilfred Boynich. Boynich? Um... I know, it's okay. I appreciate you. Uh... And to be fair, it would be good to ask. Uh, rather than just say it. In this case, I was happy to receive it. But, uh... But yeah, asking is good, I suppose. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say... If you don't know the game... It's okay to work with me in this game, specifically. Um, if you know the game and can give me ideas that are... Not available to me... Um then I would appreciate asking rather than saying. Does that sound good? Is that is that clear? Yes, I figured that. I just wanted I, I wanted to make a distinction and uh, it's not gonna be the same for every game for sure. Daredevil with the band rules epic electric guitars. <laughs> okay, um ba -ba -ba. let's find another person. Face Swift. My dreams are becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask, and next to her a terrifying black skeletal creature. It stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape, and though I had no dis though it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of expression about its features. It seemed to be laughing. But not the joyous laughter of a child, a sickly, horrifying laughter that chilled me like the first breath of winter. These past weeks have been getting worse. I need sleep. Oh, oh, this one I did identify. Yeah. Collect. Collect. Oh, Butterdale. Butterdale, Butrium dixerat. Often found gl growing in clumps on valley sides, Butterdale has been used for centuries as a cure for all manner of skin rashes. The dark green leaves can be stewed and mulched to form poultice. A poultice. The flowers smell buttery to some people. That sounds familiar. Buttery flowers. I got that one already, so not that one. Buttery flowers? Sweet scent. Nothing. It's not pleasant. Light buttery scent, and the leaves look right. Okay, where did it, uh... Is that this one? 
No. Butterdale. Oh, it's the one that says butter. Imagine that. Hey, please explain what in the world you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, too mysterious. Okay, that one I'm for sure about. That one not so much. Okay, we could explore again. We don't have any leads, I guess. I mean, that one... Nope, don't get a choice in that. Grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Backborough. Okay, so I needed to go to the hills. I get it. Let's explore there. Boof. The weather changes fast out in the hills. What started as a gray morning has turned into bright sunshine. Good thing too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over a cloak of unwelcoming shade. Collect. Ta -da! Ooh, that looks fun. How about we color code it? Yellow for certain names, blue for assumptions, red for joke names. I'm probably not going to bother with joke names, and I'm just going to put question marks if I'm not sure. I appreciate that these are checked off. I mean, yes, I see the shape, but... Come to the library in Ambleside. Okay. Okay, we didn't know what it was. We just knew that there was a plant there. A dangerous plant. How about I use red for danger? Dangerous. Okay, um, I forgot what that library place is called. Amblicide. Do 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 Gosforth, Greshmere, Oxhead, Whitboro, Enwar, Kennedal, Tebe, Kentmore, Amblicide. The library here in Ambleside is one of my favorite haunts. Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my passion for unusual plants. Today she is grinning ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she's found. Ooh, two. Library. Gilded Dendra. Oh, another uh, mushroom. Gilded Dendra. Mariska obitus. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as blood... As the blood succumbs to dendromiasma, a sure painful way to die. Poison is so potent that even touching the leaves can be painful. <laughs> Can't wait to show you what she's found. A description of Matt's, but with games. Wandering Blue, Bullium Vagus. So called because this fungus can move slowly in the dark, it is known to cover distances of several meters in a single night. Huh. The gills on this underside on the underside of this mushroom form beautiful flowing lines. They are also quite hard and sharp, earning this plant the nickname Fingers Bane. Okie dokie, time to go back to thingies. Didn't say 
Uh, too bad I can't like inspect the rest of the plant. Like I can't look on the undersides. Uh, also too bad I can't remember. Okay, this one's the other one. Uh, okay. Hmm. This could be it, but I don't know. Oh, I put the tag on the wrong one. This one, no, was it? Mm, wandering. Slowly in the dark, cover distances several meters wide. The gills, it does have bumps. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and say, question mark on wandering beauty. So anyways, I must go now. It's been short, but my people need me. Okay. Oh, free little game called Just More Doors. I've not heard of it. Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Uh, I can keep it right there. Okay. Uh, pretty sure we should just have another person come by. Eek. Nora Butterfield. Got any wandering view? That always reminds me of, oh, what's his name? An old hermit inventor, the wanderer. Anyways, the view, if you've got it. Well, maybe. Okay. <laughs> and by that I mean someone has requested me a Devil Dagger spawn set that is probably going to take an hour or two to make, so yeah, bye. Oh, yes, yeah, so me! Good luck! Lady of Summer. Comtessa Esta Estavium. The leaves curl round delightfully, which combined with an attractive flower and hardy nature make this a sought-after ornamental plant. Aids with condition of memory deterioration associated with old age. Oh. Curl round delightfully. Hardy nature. Okie dokie. Um, mm -hmm. End day. Ooh. Done. Done. It started when she found something. Something that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten quarter of Ambleside Library. Ooh, is this referring to Simone? Yeah, spooky. Oh good, I do get to keep it. Um, can I explore right now? Row H. 
Rivar. Um, okay, Snaky River that starts in row H. Uh, or not. Hmm. The third river. Oh. One, two, three. Oh no! Oh, I ate it up. A dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from matted hide and rotten flesh. Death for one provides life for many. Oh. Uh, where's that plant? Plant? Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ones that I know for sure over here. I don't know for sure. Oh, this one I know. Don't know for sure here. I mean, like I do, but this one's weird. Da -da -da -da. Da. Okay. These ones closer together. Bring me a sample of Apis Demesis, and be quick about it. That damn cat is setting off my allergies. This cat is a good cat. F you. What does it mean? Oh. Oh! Isidore Burbage. More like Burbage. A rich man who inherited a fortune but never experienced the love of his parents. He expects people to do his bidding and is quick to anger. There are many in Undermere who would be glad to see the back of him, but with see the back of him. But with wealth comes power and few would challenge him to his face. Okay. Gonna burn Bidge's house. <laughs> Faye grew up with her mother. Her father was rarely violent, but once is enough. When he struck her, it finally broke the hold he had over her mother, and she fled in the night. Uh, the sleeping Faye held close. Faye often has vivid dreams, but is never considered that other people do not. She came to strange horror culture seeking relief from her nightmares. Okay. Oh, I've met other people, but these ones are the only ones that matter? Question mark? Mm-hmm. Okay, um... Apis Demesis. Too bad these aren't sorted in order of... both names. Oops, nope, it's this one. Gandhi Root. Not that Burn Burnaby bait buck. <laughs> Not that that Burnaby Baca brain over there would be one. Burnaby Baca brain? Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about, Sake. Meek do, mollus feedum. The beautiful flowers, made up of many smaller florets, make this a sought after decorative plant, although it is difficult to care for. 
It may be a pleasant looking plant, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores. Okay. Any florets? Uh, painful sores. Okay, you had a list of people. I met a lot of people, but these are the only ones that matter. Question mark. Me and my close friends. Not that Burnaby, aka Burnbridge jerk, who was Justin, would be one. Oh, but he was. Um, it could be this one, but it's uh, not not enough evidence. Yeah, that's not. Let's meet another person. Ooh, oh, it's the postman again. Lick Undermere. I'm gonna read underwear half the time here. It's looking fine in the sunshine today. Here is your mail. Thank you. I just got a very, um... Like... The Mist era... Feeling with uh, the... With the letter coming out and everything. It's not getting out funny. I'm sorry. Things are hard to convey over chat, especially when I'm distracted heavily. There's an old slate mine at Hard Knot that has some interesting looking fungi growing in it. I've never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the dark, damp tunnels left by the tramways. I thought you might be interested. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. Slate mine at Hard Knot. All right. And hey, very good. Rustling turtler, Beckfoot, hard knot. An iron gate, rusted by years of abandonment, sits across the entrance to the tram tunnel. Rusted it may be, but it won't budge. Locked. Clavillium. Oh. oh! Oh! Oh, 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 Shikuru. Do I have a heart shape? This one? Or. Okay. Are there two options for heart shaped leaves or not? No? William. Aguiria. Siphus spect spectaculum. When burned, incense made from this woody stem can enhance psychic abilities, strengthening the clarity of visions and prophecies. Light blue flowers like rounded tufts of gentle lamb's wool characterize this plant. The gate swings open slowly. Complaining loudly on its rusty hinges, after a short exploration of the tunnel, I am rewarded. Ooh! Bunch of stuff. Okay. Close that. Put that in the archive. I guess you didn't say what kinds they were. This one. Hmm. Pavilion. Okay. Move you over here, I guess. It smells rotten! It seems to give off a small amount of light. And this one. A vicious, sorry, viscous white liquid can be seen oozing from its underside. Did we not have a fungi that was all, like, milky or whatever? Seep a milky fluid that can be consumed.
Reuben Ward. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest, investigating the possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are a secretive lot, and they're not keen to talk to me. Their leader, the Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. Jim. My instinct is they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have some fox button that would help me win them over. Fox button? I don't think I actually determined which one that one was. Fox button. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, friendship. Shiny leaves grow in opposite pairs along the shadow stems. Okay, shiny leaves. Smells like nothing. Blue flowers, stiff leaves. Small leaves, delicate flowers. Opposite, opposite, opposite. Oh dear. Not a lot of options here. This is the one that looks most like it, but it doesn't say anything. Well, here goes nothing. Brimlock. Okay. Can I? No! I wasn't. I wanted to read that. Okay. Um. What did you give me? Aquilia? No, we got that one. Brimlock? Brimlock. Folium caldarius. Those suffering from hypothermia can be rescued by a draught made using leaves from the brimlock plant. It has a warming effect that protects against extreme cold. When conditions are just right, in the cold of winter, brimlock produces small yellow flowers. The leaves are waxy and tough. Yeah, seriously. Uh, small yellow flowers, waxy and tough leaves. Small and yellow flowers. I don't think we got it. Okay, unless it's this one, which I don't think so. They smell wonderful. Um, what's the one that's all like, oh, it's dark and it eats up the, the light. Make you? No. Mushroom, 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 mushroom. Badger, 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 badger. Well, whatever, I'll just <laughs> look for it later. <laughs> Hello, Victoria Gray. I was able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of the St. John's poppy. There's a medium using the room illegally, I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Is there a plant you know of that I could use to give them a scare and drive them away? Good question. I need my sleep. Oh, hey, look at that. I was just looking at this stuff. Harlequin blue. This one. Okay. Bushy flower heads die back. Downy pappus. Dried and hardened stems. High pick shrieks. Bushy blue flower heads. I guess it's gotta be this one. Since the other one we have is not. 
that. Harlequin blue. Collect. Ooh. Shimmer along. Animatus lumensis. Lumensis. The dried stem of the shimmer along the shimmer along burns very brightly and noisily, letting off a near blinding white purple light. Flowers grow wrapped in large ridged leaves. Cool. Do 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 Harlequin Blue. Okay. Move you over here. Close the book. I don't think I have anywhere else to explore. Maybe not much point in getting a bunch of extras, but I don't know. We could try something. Let's go to the Abbey. Abbey something. A small window opens with a much larger oak door. From the darkness within, a voice proclaims, only a friend may enter. Oh. Oh, 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 we just discovered this. Yeah! The hatch snaps shut, and the oak door swings inward slowly without a sound. I am ushered in by a man wearing a plain brown robe. He nods silently when I ask about Long Meg. Oh, oh dear. I have a feeling we were supposed to get a letter about this. <laughs> When I ask about Long Meg, and leads me through the abbey to find a small library filled with scrolls and books. Without a word, he pauses for a moment, surveying, before selecting a scroll and handing it to me. Okay, guess we got this. Ooh. Sheep snap. Ovium veridi. That means egg. And this means green, I think. The sheep snap is thought to bring good fortune when prepared correctly. The green seed pods of the sheep snap have a hard outer shell and a sound hollow when tap tapped. Ugh. To the south, they call this plant bulbs of bayon. Bayoni. Collect. Regarding Long Meg, there is a stone circle north of Undermere. According to the local legend, some hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years ago, a witch known as Long Meg lived nearby along with her daughters. They were wild, godless people who practiced evil magic. Sounds awesome! Until one night they went too far and Meg and her daughters were turned to stone. The tall stone that stands apart from the main circle is called Long Meg by the locals. Okay, north of... Undermere Stone Circle. I don't know if we can actually see where that would be. It doesn't really look like it on the map. Okay, actually, yeah, we got the thing up now. Let's just let's just try a spot. The church. Hello? No? This button? Press the wrong button. Okay, the one with the one with the churchy thing on it. Nothing here. Okay. Bethany Coleman. La Betha Beth La, La Betha Bethany. You may have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead. May May Ardwinia bring her spirit peace. Oh, the nature of her death is unusual. The sisterhood does not often look outside. But this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you entry to the forest. Oh. Okay. Now I am the one responsible for figuring out things, apparently. Bethany Coleman. Beth this is a Beth was born into a loving family, but never felt settled. She sought out a high purpose when she was still young and left home at fourteen to join the sisterhood of Arduinia. Arduinna. The sisterhood, whoop. the head of the sisterhood, the Arda, took a liking to her and helped her develop a renewed purpose, caring for the forest and putting her faith in the goddess Arduina. Now her mentor has been murdered and Beth is looking for answers. Okay. So these are the same day. It's still Saturday. Okay. You want to give me Mary's breath. No, you want me to give you Mary's breath. 
Right. The whole king's thingy duder dad. Why waxy leaves? Oh, that bad. Okay, well, I can say not Mary's breath. Oh boy. <laughs> it says waxy leaves. Why do waxy leaves? There's not a lot of a lot of description here. Trying to look for ones that I had at the beginning as well, but they are also wide. I mean, these ones look wide. I guess this is probably the one I was thinking of before. Oh, I didn't want that. I wanted to pet the cat. Shut up, Isidore. I want to... Ah. I'm close to reporting you, Halfwit. This last plant you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. I'll have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right. Oh. My actions could have consequences. All manner of skin rashes. Uh, oh wait, no, that's not the right one. This one. Made up of small florets. Salt and painful sores. Okay, well I know which one I want to give him, but I'll give him the Butterdale. As soon as I find it. Dorian, Interitus Dulcis. The dark red fruits should not be ingested under any circumstances, as they are highly poisonous, resulting in insanity and then death. The cross section of the stem shows distinctive triple xylem and phloem of the Storian. Uh huh. Those are like the. I don't know if you can call them like the vein systems of the of the stem. They transfer water and sugars. One goes up and one goes down. I don't remember which one is which. Pet the kitty. We have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen and the Arda has been murdered. You will find us deep in Grizz... Greedsdale Forest, a mile from the lake shore, across from Torver. Please help us, yours in hope, the sisterhood of Ardwinia. Oh, what a pretty insignia and freckles. How nice. Uh, boop. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Deep in the forest, a mile from the lake shore, across from Torver. Deep in the forest. A mile from Lake de across from Torver. Huh? Oh, I think I got it. A sister tries to stop me from entering, but I show her the letter and she lets me through. I am ushered into a walled court courtyard and then through a large oak door along a corridor. And then and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement. Lying on the table Draped in silk is the Arda. There is not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair, all black as a raven's wing. 
Do you know what could do this? Asked my escort. I set to work. Spooky! Um... Ren. This one. Okay, let's do a little bit of double checking. Scent that scratches the back of my throat. Doesn't say which it is for me, huh? Okay, let's check some others. Doesn't say anything about the scent. Sweet scent. Mm hmm. No flower. Small red berries. Okay, not a lot of options with the no fruit one. So it's almost certainly got to be this one. Oh boy. Gray Sandfire, Sabulum Canus. The Sandfire has a tough outer bark, which has many useful properties. Some chew it as a form of dental hygiene, taking care not to swallow it as it can cause unpleasant stomach distress. The flame-like tendrils give off a smoky scent, adding to the impression of a roaring fire. Da, da, da. Da, 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 do, 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 do. That's gotta be. I spelled it with an A, it's spelled with an E here, whatever. I extract a sample of the artist's blood and introduce it to the wren, and my suspicions are confirmed immediately. The leaves of wren turn black, which can only mean one thing. Gilded dendra poisoning. Upon presenting my findings, I am rushed away quickly. The sisters do not want me hanging around, it seems. They do, however, send me on my way with a couple of plants, which I am grateful for. Ooh, oh, this looks like the one. And this looks like it belongs in uh, Super Mario. Yeah, pretty. Okay. Actually, we're just gonna boop -ba do See if we can find the one. Come on. Oh, no. Dried stem burns very brightly and noisily, letting off blinding white purple light. Flowers go wrapped in large, ribbed, ridged leaves. That looks pretty large and ridged. Leaves have stiff rib ribs. Okay, I'm not going to move this one over yet. So I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, da -da, and then this one. Hello, come on. Turquoise flowers, sharp thorns. Okay. Mellow glow, mellow glow. Da -da -da. Okay. I'm less certain. Oh, right. Um, I guess it tells me about stuff, but it doesn't tell me that there's any plants there. New card, new card. Wollum, 
north of Hawkshead, east of Lowick, west of Rustland, south of Crinkle Crags. The book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure, and after studying it for some time, she reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it could never be found. Also, it looks like we might be getting a moon cycle here. Okay. North of Hawkshead. East of... Oh, wait. It's going to show up. I remember. Day three. Sunday. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. North of Hawkshead. East of Lowick. I can't... North of Hawkside, east of Lowick. Let's find one of those. Lowick. East. North of... Hawkshead. Uh -huh. Rustland. Okay. Hawkshead. North of Hawkshead. East of Lowick. West of Rusland. Okay, so it's gotta be... Column... 17. And south of... Crinkle Crags. So, this one, 17 something. Thank you for closing that on me. <laughs> E17. My eyes are drawn to the silhouette of a grizzled old man standing at the edge of a field. His mind is broken, seemingly beyond repair. Vacant eyes fixate on nothing, a whisper of an, of an expression as my gaze sweeps his face. But only his whisper. Only a whisper. That's my name, don't wear it out. He raises his arm, points. I follow his outstretched finger, and am surprised to find a cluster of wildflowers growing there, hidden from view. Oh, nice. How nice. Close the map. Open my drawer. Blue plants. Dark blue flowers. Smells like sweet rhubarb. I love rhubarb. Bright red flowers grow at the end of thin stems. Okay. Those don't seem particularly familiar to anything. I have blue flowers. Blue flowers, red thorns. Blue flowers, red thorns. This would be so much easier if I wasn't colorblind. Da, da, da. Wait. I determined what this one was and I forgot to put the thing on it. It was this one, right? No, I determined what the thing was. I didn't determine that this was the plant, specifically, that this matched up. Lemon dandy. Okay, I don't know what else to do, so here we go. Wilbur Miller. I'm looking for a plant. Um, lady of what's it? Something or other? Um, uh, I'm no green-eyed drayer, that's for sure. My mind isn't at all what it used to be. It's the one that's supposed to help me with mental decline. 
help with mental health fund. Sounds like you need it, buddy. That was rude. I don't think I actually have it set aside already. Okay. Lady of Summer. Leaves curl around delightfully. Oh, it's probably this one. Hardy nature, sought after, memory deterioration, old age. I think it's probably this one. Curl around delightfully, nodding flower. Okay. Bennett, hey! Bennett, acutus minor. Chewing the tough root of this plant is said to ease gastric distress and reduce anxiety. It has so long, soft leaves. Woo! Okay, so this is confirmed. Yes. And Fennet. It's also confirmed. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Guess I don't need that now that I know what Mary's breath is. Okie dokie. So help. This is exactly what I needed to do, yes. I don't know. Um, okay. Boop. Postman! Only rings once. They're saying that Arda's been killed. I know a lot of people don't trust that sisterhood, but it seemed to me that Arda always looked out for the less fortunate. The cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. I was forced to turn back. I would advise against it, but if you are determined to explore Great Gable, be sure to take precautions. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll have a plant up your sleeve that can keep you warm should the weather turn against you. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. Okay. Great Gable. Um, and then a plant to keep you warm. It'll tell me something. Okay, great gable. Great googly moogly. After several hours of arduous hiking and scrambling, I am still somewhat, some distance from the summit. I am freezing cold and ready to head home. I should do the sensible thing and turn back the mountain. Unless... I don't think I have Rimlock set out, but maybe I can find it. Oh good, my dread went down. Rimlock. Do -do -do. Warming effect. When the cushions are right, it produces small yellow flowers. Leaves are waxy and tough. It says when the conditions are right, which means it could be this one. If it's not producing flowers right now. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Woo! I push on, no longer feeling the cold. And I am presently rewarded. Collect. Oh, collect this. Sunset Mount Trap. Solus Ocasum. Sunset Mount Cap is a type of fungus with domed caps. Sometimes called stinking mount cap as a result of the of its unpleasant odor. It is thought to deter unwanted souls and spirits from entering the home and is often placed in doorways. It is mildly toxic to humans and should not be eaten. Okay. Um one thing at a time here. Okay. 
That could be that gray blue thingy. Uh, no, that one was a, a mushroom. Ships a meek do? No. Winter boar. Blue aloe. Blue. Found in extreme cold environments. Gray blue. Wahoo! Norman Lee. This plant is cursed. You think everything is cursed. It has brought me nothing but sorrow. Please take it. I want nothing more to do with it. Alright. Thanks, man. Hey. Oh. That's similar to the one we have. One of the ones we have already. It's a good thing we know that's a wandering view. A mushroom-like plant. With red warts growing on it. Huh. Hmm, interesting. Ding ding. Hey, Simone! Green. Hello, boar! Always a ple pleasure, my feline friend. I hope he hasn't been nibbling the plants again. God, I hope not. Please don't. I have a favor to ask. You owe me for the hours I spent digging the information on these plants. I've been burning the midnight oil again and could use some common trouse. And I know where to find it. Here? According to Grayson's Herbology, it grows in abundance on red pike. Not here. I'll come by the day after tomorrow to collect it. I have business in Sedberg. In the meantime. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, abundance on red pike. Here, take this. Okay. Despite being described as common, the trouse can in fact be quite tricky to find. However, it is known to grow in abundance on the slopes of red pike. Nobody knows why. The leaves have been used for centuries as a balm against eye strain. I could use that. Sporathus nemesium. Alright, let's just go now before I forget. Red pike. I enjoy a pleasant stroll up the fell. The going is easy, the weather agreeable, and the view is majestic. I do not have to look hard to find what I'm after. Ba ding Okay, now just remember what she called it. Uh, da -da. Not that. Historian. Historian? No. I already forgot what Oh, it's common trouse. It's a good thing these plants don't actually need to be watered. Verona Green. When you work with the occult, I find it pays to uphold a certain image. If you're going to be accused of performing witchcraft anyways, it doesn't hurt to put on a bit of a show every now and then. Let the punters know what I'm capable of, sort of thing. Long story short, I may have threatened to turn a small boy into a toad, and the little bugger called my bluff. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know what little boys are like. Mm-hmm. I can assure you he deserved to, deserves to be turned into a toad. Anyways, I think a little display is needed to discourage this sort of behavior in the future. Thump, thump. Have you got any shimmer lung? Have I? Probably. Yeah, 
but I didn't think that I had discerned it for sure. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. This one. I said this one. Use plant. Candlewood. Lucernum caledonia. Produces a red flower that provides a shielding effect, protecting against all manner of afflictions of the mind. Long, thin stems grow among tall leaves. Red flower. Shielding effect. Thin stems. Tall leaves. Probably. Okay, this one we've discovered was for sure. No. Nope. Eh. Okay. Was there anything else that I wanted to do there? Or do I just go to the next? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People. Bios. Verona Green. Verona has been studying the occult and mysteries and the mysterious for many years. It started as a hobby, but gradually grew into an obsession. She haunts the boundary between truth and tale, seeking out the knowledge that others recoil from. She also brews a lovely cup of tea. Okay, so I see that people have these markers around them. And that's not the button I wanted. Does this thing match up to those markers? Uh, not necessarily. A couple of them look like it, but most of them do not. Blip, blip. Blip, 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 blip. I don't know whether I should be exploring all the time or only when I have a hint. There's a beautiful plant that I've been looking for all over, but nobody seems to have any. Oh, this is Ruth Douglas. M something. Monk brew? I'm not sure. I do not know that you- I do know you shouldn't touch the leaves, though. That one was fine, I'm pretty sure. Abby something. Meek do? Uh, touching leaves, bare skin of a painful source. Uh, Made up of many smaller florets. Okay. Touch the leaves. Okay, pretty sure. Oh, those are the only M ones we have. Okay. Uh, did I have one that I guessed was that? No. But a flower with small florets. This is the only one of those I have left. Mikdu. Oh, did I not get anything for that? Eh, let's just pick a place at random. And by random I mean... No, no, let's do random. Tebe, Sad Gill, Kentmere... Foxhead to her Foxfield. Whitfell. Boodle? Let's go to Boodle. Although technically a town, Boodle's small population and a rural air make it seem more like an inflated village. It has been many years since I used to frequent the local tavern, the Sleeping Giant. I could stay for just one drink, I suppose, for old time's sake. Okay. I really like this insignia. Oh, the card is ripped. Time passed, a year, and then another. The book remained hidden, but out of sight did not mean out of mind. The book was what her thoughts settled on when she was rested. 
what she brooded over when she did her chores, what she pictured when she dreamed. Day four, Monday. This isn't particularly helpful, is it? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna say this looks like the river thing and then go to Foxfeld just because. Foxfeld is a simple welcoming place. I am tempted to pay a brief visit to an old friend who's a brewer with his own small tavern in the village. In the end, I decide not to. Plenty to be doing back at the shop. Okay. Ba ding ding! Reuben! The fox button was no help. So I'm afraid. The fox button was no help, I'm afraid. The sisterhood still refused to speak openly with me. Not that I have the time to pursue it properly. I'm rushed off my feet this week. There's been a body found up the Swinside Stone Circle, and apparently it's a grisly one. Do you suppose you've got anything to keep my lunch down? To help keep my lunch down. My stomach's never coped too well with the grisly ones. Why, yes, I do. It's this one. Witch frig. Striga tenuis. A plant that is said to have many uses, including easing the symptoms of infection, soaking up moisture, and detecting the presence of certain compounds. It is also, excuse me, well liked by butterflies. It has similar leaves to the fever kiss plant, which is often confused with. I don't think we have anything that I can absolutely determine that that is. Okay. Let's go visit another place. The old man! Let's go to the old man. Striking views at the top of the so-called Old Man of Con Coniston never fail to induce awe and wonder. Sadly, there are a few people with the leisure to explore its heady heights. Today, it's just me and the sheep. Postman! Good morning! Verona Green handed me this for you. She seemed in a good mood. Oh, how handy. I meant to tell you yesterday, but it slipped my mind. I discovered a plant on the recent trip to Greasedale Forest, just north of Rustland. It was like nothing I'd ever seen before. I would have brought it back with me if Sisterhood had given me a moment alone, but they seemed overly protective lately. Kind regards, Verona Green. I believe that's the lady who's not a witch, but... Wants to look like a witch? Yes. Okay. Uh, Greasedale Forest, just north of Rustland. Just north. <clears throat> as soon as I step off the road, two members of the sisterhood step out and remind me that it is this their forest. I am not welcome here. I try showing them the sisters' letter, but they tell me I'm in the wrong place and move me along without offering any help. Uh huh. So I'm not able to get this one right now, or I wasn't in quite the right place. Hello, Faye. I am afraid. The camp for you gave me is helping me sleep, and I'm very grateful for it. But the visions are as strong as ever. The woman in the jade mask appears in my dreams every night. She screams at me, but I do not know why. And behind her, that presence is always there, dark and dreadful. I do not know what to do. Uh oh. The le. Mm -hmm. The dreams feel like a warning that I don't understand, a mosaic of color that refuses to come into focus. Some parts of me want to stare down the abyss, but I'm afraid. Okay... I don't... This is not what I wanted. I don't think Candlewood is going to help here. 
shielding effect. Oh, maybe. Um, and then Aguria. Psychic abilities. Strengthening the clarity of missions and prophecies. Ooh. Mm. Well, hello, Honey Cough Drop and Raiders. Welcome. Thank you so much. Hmm. So the question here is, do I strengthen the clarity for her or do I shield her from it? Magic Azamid, hello. How's it going? It's going pretty well. I'm starting to have responsibilities in the game and I'm not sure what to do. Okay, well, I have to make sure I actually have this one if I do. I don't think I do. So that might answer the question for me. The game's pretty good. Um, you start out with some plants and you talk to the people that come in. And you have to give them a plant or something and they'll give you sheets for your little book here. And you can go exploring to lots of places. Not everywhere has something for you. Yeah. So... I think I have to give her the one that shields because I don't have this one, I don't think. Light blue flowers. Yeah. Alright, well... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. That's not the right one. this one. Worry less. Worry less is an aptly named plant. Inclu inhaling the smell of flowers is said to ease the symptoms of anxiety. Mm hmm. Oh. I like to read the Lavanus Nana as well. Okay. Have a good lurk. Thank you again for the raid. Uh, bah, bah. Okay, not necessarily. This one? No. Okay. Okay, let's try if we can go see if we can go anywhere else in the forest. Probably not, but... As soon as I step off the road, two members of the sisterhood step out and remind me that this is their forest. I'm not welcome. Try showing them a letter, but they tell me I'm in the wrong place and move me along without offering any help. Okay, looks like I can't go in the forest. For now. Meow. Uh, Margaret, Margaret Elsbeth. We don't come to Undermere often, but I heard about your shop and I said to Francis, we simply must pay a visit. It's a wonderful breath of life in an otherwise dreary town. I'm the green-fingered one and it's not really his cup of tea, but I persuaded him the trip would do him good and besides, he'll be wanting to take a boat out on the lake. Shame about this awful weather though. You must come to see Sizerg. We have a small library with some pl books on plants that my grandfather acquired many years ago. I'm sure they will be of interest to a horticulturist like such as yourself. Wow, I thought you were going to be a uppity bee, but no, you're just a very nice person. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a castle. You are cordially invited to Caesar Castle, Lord and Lady Elizabeth. Meow, 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 meow. Meow meow, says the queer kitty cat. Meow meow meow. Meow 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 meow. Time to stand in front of the screen. Alright, let's go check out that castle. Uh, not this one. Uh, da -da. Good. Oh, I already forgot which one it was called. Scissor. Ugh. 
Kui, you make this so hard to see. I'm greeted in- it doesn't take any time to travel in this game. It's still the same day for everybody. Eh. I am greeted enthusiastically by Lady Elsbeth herself. She is very talkative and has many questions on horticulture that I do my best to answer as she takes me on a tour of the gardens. Oh, you must take a sample of this back with you, she exclaims, pointing out a plant that I do not recognize. But before I can stop to take a look, she has already whisked me on to the next. And this one too, she says. I am quite exhausted by the time I make it to the library. And I don't have the time to make as thorough a study as I would like. Nevertheless, I am able to find an interesting entry that I noted down. Don't forget these, Lady Elizabeth cries as I make my leave. She thrusts the plants from the gardens into my hands and I thank her warmly. Yeah, I mean, you're probably welcome to come back to the library in the future, but she wants to give you plants for your shop. Heck yeah. Oh, Kuya Kitty wants the pets. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, collect. Ooh, oh, that one looks cool. Fevercus, Febris Osculum. The red berries provide an energy boost that lasts several hours. Kuya. Hey, come here. Oh, come here. Oh, that might be the, uh, this one. This, this, this one. Leaves are pale in color. Hi, honey. Yeah, you make it really difficult to see what's going on. I can't do this yet. Okay. Everything that I'm sure about is on the right here. And things that I'm not as sure about are mm -hmm. the here. Ones I'm really not sure about have the question mark. Okay. Put that in the archive. Put this away. Oh yeah, I can't see. Oh, and then I got some new plants. Let's inspect those. Leaves seem to have a mind of their own. Oh, okay. This one. Small yellow berries. Okay. A silly girl. Similar leaves to the fever kiss, which is often confused with. Okay. Big, not frig. the kitty in game and IRL no oh sweetie your ears are chilly honey okay back to the game Ooh, I can explore again should I Pick a r random place that I think looks fun or interesting. Meet Hop. Let's go to Meet Hop. Oh, it's because I was looking at the map and not the. I want to actually go here. On the outskirts of Meet Hop Village. It's probably supposed to be Meet Hop. I pass a large, attractive villa, which would not look out of place in Swiss Alps. A number of people are lying in basket chairs on the veranda. They are well-dressed, but very pale. One lady has a painful-sounding cough. I pass a discreet metal sign, Westmoreland Sanatorium. Of course, these are the invalids receiving therapeutic treatment for their tuberculosis. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Oof, my nose is so stuffy. Next, Philip Shaw. Mushroom, red spores, moves in the dark. That's all I've got. Any ideas? In the dark? Pretty sure it's this one. I just want to be sure. Not that this. In the dark. Yep. Okay, that was not particularly helpful since I already identified it. But, you know. Selena Scott. They're saying Black Comb is haunted now. Bradley Miller told me he saw the ghost of huge deer antlers and all, but then Bradley Miller also says he could talk to squirrels. Either way, there's something evil in them hills, and I'm not taking any chances. Awful what happened to that poor girl- poor young man up at Swinside. I've come for some stinking mount cap. Okay, first of all, da -da -da, black comb. Sunset mount cap. How do I- give me the book. <laughs> Type of fungus, dump caps, stinking, mildly toxic. Okay, well, I don't have a lot of options here. Strongly soured milk. This one's a plant that looks like a fungus. The oozing liquid. This one's lit up, so it's probably not this one. Sunset Mount Cup. Ooh, Hedgehog. Maculosis retin retinentia. The fruit of the henshook can have startling effects on memory. Even small dose can result in short-term memory loss, but a larger amounts has been known to cause severe amnesia. The tuberous bulb has an unusual structure, growing in bursts that give it a striped appearance when cut open. When the outer layer is hard and it turns blue-green, it is ready to harvest. Mm hmm. Blue-green? Oh, I think I just discovered that that was Ren, but I'm not sure now. Uh, da, da, da. This one I'm sure of, though. Sunset Mount Trap. Mount Cap. So close. Uh, da, da. Yes. Okay, this one is Ren. Okie dokie, closed for the day. Let's check out one more place. Uh, Sad Gil. As I approach the small hamlet of Sadgill, the clouds thicken and the skies darken, echoing a sudden pensiveness that watches over me. A crow lands on the wall ahead, its beady black eyes fixed on me, as if to warn me of an impending danger. I push on in ser search of strange plants but find nothing. Should I listen to the crow? End day. Ooh, another day, another card. She lives alone in the castle to the northwest of the abbey. She buried her husband three miles to the east, where the Everheart grows. At fifteen, her mother, strong, dependable, loving, was struck down by typhoid. The girl drew inward as her father turned to drink. 
I thought I thought the mom left with the girl. Okay. <laughs> Day five. Tuesday. Oh, it's not raining anymore. What a different vibe. Okay, we're gonna go... Northwest of the Abbey. Buried her husband three miles to three to the east, where the other heart grows. A dead tree, its bark cracked and blackened by fire, stands alone on the hillside. Off to one side, a patch of flowers grows on a low mound. Collect. Ta -da! Ooh! That's a different type of flower. Pink flower. Wow. Very help. So I don't know what to do with this one because it's awfully blank. Ding dong. Hey, how you doing? I must thank you. Last night, for the first time in weeks, my mind was calmed. I am no longer tormented by visions of the woman in jade mask and that terrible monster. Now I'm wondering if you have some worry list to keep my over-anxious thoughts at bay. Uh, maybe. Pretty sure I decided that this... Nope, not one of these. Okay, well... Open up. Where are we less? Uh, boy, I don't got a lot to go off of here, do I? Ease symptoms of anxiety. Okay. Uh, they smell wonderful. Ooh. Hop heart, Cora engines. Inhaling smoke from the burning, from burning the dried leaves of this plant can provide pain relief. Firm leaves grow up the stems, leading to blue flowers. Uh, da -da -da. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. worry less. Ah, my foot's asleep. Help. Okay, what's the one that you just gave me the thing for? Hop heart? Firm leaves grow up the stems, leading to blue flowers. Okay, that one's probably... Heart. Maybe I'll make the ones I'm not sure about purple. And then I don't have to worry quite as much about them getting close. fine as it is. Okie dokie. Sedberg. Sedberg is one of the many towns in this vicinity that has made its wealth for the wool trade. Indeed, as I explore the streets, I see a farmer shepherding his flock to the monthly market. I'd hoped to find a plant to add to my collection, but there's nothing that catches my eye. Okay. Teleport. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Simone has come back to pick up the plant. I met a strange r man on the road to Sedberg not two days ago. Stranger still, he asked after you. He said he had something for you. Didn't don't ask me what. So I told him where to find you, but he looked stricken when I mentioned Undermere. Said he doesn't come near towns at all if he can help it. Well, then, wh where did you expect me to be? He was headed west, at least. I think he was. 
He said he was look looking for the Win Winster Spring. I'll write this down for you. Why, thank you. Anyways, that's my news. Did you manage to find the plant I wanted? I did. Now it's just a matter of finding where it is in my amount of stuff here. Man wanted to meet you, headed west from the Sedberg, po possibly near to the source of the river Winst Winst Winster. Okay. West from Sedberg. Possibly near to the source of the river. Winster. Oh, not this one, I guess. Let's water some plants. Okay, west from Sedberg, so it probably means it's on this row. Possibly near to the source of the river. Tried this one, I guess this one would be the next one to try. No. Okay. Near to the source. I've been looking at the wrong river. Uh, I think I have. We are so short on people coming to the shelter. It's really frustrating. I'm getting like three emails a day asking people to come in for extra shifts. <sighs> um, okay, we're gonna try this once more before moving on. This river, but on the same row? No. Uh, okay, boy. I'm screwing this one up. some hot chocolate or tea. Apparently I was watering plants without being at the shop. River Winster. Near the source of the River Winster. So like, if it was just near the source of the River Winster, it'd be here. 
But because it says headed west from Sedberg, I feel like it should be on this level. But that's not what I got, so... This one, I guess. Why does it bother with the other part? Annoying. The Hermit... The hermit's camp is easy to find, nestled between two boulders above the spring. The cooled remains of a fire, ring ringed by the stones, is the only immediate sign that anyone was here. I call out, but there is no reply. The hermit is not here. A more thorough search of the campsite yields something interesting. Tucked off to one side, I discover some broken pieces of wood arranged on the floor. Down to right three. Okay, down two from J22, right three piece of paper. Okay. And he filled up my thing so I can go right away. J22. One, two. One, two, three. The camp at Winster... At the winter spring has led me to another camp of sorts, where I'm greeted by an eccentric man. Oh yes, yes, ho 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 ho, the man says. You must take this, take it, take it. At his insistence, I received the looking glass that he had thrust into my hands. He placed an envelope delicately on top. Ho ho, it's no use to me anymore. Ho ho, no use. Don't forget the red. The red, the red, the red. Ho ho, Albany. I'm sure that he was quite mad. Item and letter. Ooh, fancy. It is said that the red abony planta, planta has the property of uncovering that which is hidden or secret. I have perfected a device d designed to use extract from the plant in co concert with a viewing window in order to permit the user to see magics otherwise invisible to the naked eye. Hi Kuya, you got tired of sitting next to me and you want to sit in my way again? That's not so bad, huh? Sitting on my lap. Well, standing on it anyways. Okay. Eh. Probably need to have the, the red abony plant. It's become difficult to see again, Guia. Ding! Conrad Stanway. I am not long for this world, and I have decided that I want to be buried in a grave decorated with the rare and beautiful Cabalia, like a drear huntsman with their drenthium covered tombs. Cabalia. Hello, kitty. So cute. Guia. Am nam nam. Little. Tail is in my face. I don't have this one in my book. Unless it's the scientific part of the scientific name. Oh, like, well, no, because that would be something else. Dude, I ain't got this. Unless it's unless it's one of the ones that says it's called something else, I guess. <sighs> Could you get out of my glass? You troublemaker. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna. Mm. Blah blah blah. Mushroom. Jurax, you tough. Found blah 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 blah. 
Gotta head out. I hope the rest of the stream is chill. Have a good one. Yeah, thank you so much for the raid and for stopping in. Have a great evening. Uh, okay, there isn't anything in here that I noticed that I have for this. to go to this forest. Drear Huntsman Trentium Covered Tombs. Hmm. Is there a place called Drear? Stone circle, right flipping there. Okay. I am really not sure where to go for this guy. Circle of ancient rhyolite boulders have been a site of ritual importance for hundreds of years. A lone pillar of red sandstone stands off to one side. That's long meg or whatever, I guess. Beautiful. Dude, I ain't got a clue. I don't have any... Oh, I need to look back through my letters. I'm sure I remember seeing something that could lead me to a new map location. Perhaps a new plan, too. Ah. Perfected the device. Okay. Hmm. 
I mean, I'm not allowed to go into the forest. Get me out. Oh, okay. Fine. Uh, from the moment I step off the road, I can't shake the feeling of being watched. Suddenly I find my way blocked by three women wearing green cloaks and holding short elm bows. Nobody but may wander freely through the forest by the order of the Arda. The Arda's dead, uh, says the leader of the trio. I turn to walk back, but then again, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Mellow glow. Mellow glow. Mellow, mellow glow? Did you get over here? Get out. Get 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 over here. I quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mellow glow. I have to figure out which one that is. Oh, oh boy, I only got a couple of chances at this one. Most remarkable, allow a person to pass unnoticed. Right. Not invisible. Sharp thorns. Protected from predators. So, hi, Kluya. Could be this one? Or it could be... Where did the other thorn one go? This one. This one mentions the thorns. <clears throat> it's gonna be wrong. It's right. Okay. With the help of the metal, mellow glow, I walk right past the sisters without them paying me any heed. Chuckling to myself, I collect the plant Verona talked about and then take my leave. Cabalia, Arbutum alacritas, a rare plant that is believed to help in the dead, help the dead find peace in the afterlife. Those who, oh, I pressed the button. Those who can afford it place wreaths made from it at the, at the graves of their loved ones. Cabalia flowers almost always contain six petals. Finding a seven-petaled flower is considered to bring good fortune. Okay, collect. New plant acquired. Oh, that doesn't look like... I thought it was going to be. So maybe I do have it already. Where'd you put it? Where'd you put the new plant? Hi, Kuya. Hi. Um, on top of everything else? The bulb is quite firm and tur turquoise in color. The orange roots have no noticeable over. Okay, something earlier talked about turquoisey color. I always have six petals. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, boy, this one was called something else. Mellow. Okay, okay, okay. Mellow. Mellow glow. Six petals, 
Seven petaled flowers. It doesn't say anything about the color. This one's got five. This one's got five, four. Can't tell. Eyebright, Euphrasia officinalis. Take care not to touch its brightly colored thorns. They will do no lasting damage, but they contain a small amount of venom that will cause severe pain for several days after. Plant only grows into the south in warmer climates, where they call it loath after a long dead king, known to improve eyesight at night, even in darkest places. South in warmer climates. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Kaba. Kabalia. Should probably put these in some kind of like. Um. alphabetical order or something okay oh I got a lot more space than I thought I'm just clustering everything right up together droopy mushroom not a mushroom 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 look-alike watering can So exciting, I know. L. P. L. H. Okay. Mary. Meek. Mellow. Uh, P. R. S. S. H. S. T. Okay, something like that. Do do do. Close the book. Okay. My nose is so itchy. Um, nope, this is what I wanted. Okay, check, 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 check. Not check. 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 Stone Circle, north of Undermere. Okay, it doesn't actually say that there's something there, but... Daughter Stone Circle. That's where I went, I didn't get anything out of it. I don't see another one. But I want to check out caves. Oh, 
A large, dark pool sits in the belly of the cavernous opening on Rydal Cave. I suppress a shudder at the thought of monsters that could lurk beneath the serene surface. And then I go home. Ding. Ooh, oh, the Jade Mask. From what's her face's dreams. Your reputation is growing, horticulturist. I hear you are the person to come to for plants that are difficult to acquire. My head feels like it's being torn in two lately. I'm looking for some hop heart. That was one of the ones that I was pretty sure about. Collect. Copper Caledonian Iris agaricum. This plant has a rejuvenation effect, but most who have plant mm. who have tried to benefit from its properties have come to realize that it is a curse, not a blessing. Though you may appear younger, you will quickly become more frail and brittle. The red patches that are often seen growing on it are in fact a type of fungus themselves, and not part of the plant. Fungi aren't plants, dude. They're not. They're not. Okay. Do do. Hello, Verona. Reuben Ward has called on my unique expertise to aid in his investigation at the Swinside Stone Circle. Unique expertise. Ha! He knows how to flatter an old woman when he wants something. Ooh. I thought about telling him to suck an egg. Gave it a good long thought, actually, but my curiosity has gotten the better of me. He must be desperate if he's coming to me, and I'll bet they found something juicy down there. Signs of ritual sacrifice, maybe. I could do with some witch fig to take with me. Always comes in useful. Okay, this one I'm also pretty sure about. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it purple and give it a thingy and say that it's okay, and then regret it when it's not. <laughs> Plant identified. Rewards. Book entry. Jacob's Worth. Dignitas Jacobiae. Jacobiae. People tend to be drawn to the unusual flowers of Jacob's Worth, but it is the leaves that have the most interesting properties. It is said they will point the way towards any person you wish to locate and have been used successfully to find many a lost wanderer out on the fells. Well, that sounds like... this one. Whose leaves have a mind of their own. Jacob's something or other. Jacob, Jake, Jacob, Jacob's worth. I'm almost certainly, but well, be safe. A witch. Okay, let's check out another cave. This one. A thin crack. Hey! A thin crag runs down the rock face, widening as it nears the ground, just wide enough for a man to slip through, but there's a problem. A large boulder blocks, blocks the entrance, too heavy to move. I don't know if I've gotten Farmer's Worry figured out. No. Okay. Boop -da. Okay. Spongy mushroom. Great strength. Mm. 
Doesn't look like any of the ones I have. And I don't have a thing for it here, so it's not like... It's not like I'm necessarily supposed to have it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I doubt I have it, so... The White Scar Cave needs farmer's worry. Ding. Oh, it's you again, Isidore Burbage. I never see anybody in your shop. It's a daily surprise to me that you're still in business. Believe me, I wouldn't be in here if I didn't have to be, especially with that damn cat still here. You mean that damn beautiful cat? I need some bishop's parasol for a work-related matter. Boop. Little is known about the mysterious woman in the jade mask. She is occasionally seen in Undermere, but people understandably avoid her cold demeanor. Demeanor. Okay, uh, Bishop's Parasol. In dark, damp places. Helping uh, light in. Surrounding in darkness. Milky fluid. Royal Gentia, Caesari, Caesarii Rosia, sometimes called Everheart. The pink flowers of the Royal Gentia are made up of two large kidney-shaped petals. One of the few known ways to release the bind of Swift Snare is to apply a paste created from the sap of Royal Gentia. Royal Gentia, Everheart. Listen to your heart. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Doop. 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 E. Okay. Da da da. End the day. Do 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 do. Ba do ba do. Ba dong. Ooh. The old man of Coniston looks out across the lake with blind eyes. His mind wanders with the current, floating gently southwards towards the fork. Not long after the girl left home, her father wept, but he was so caught up in his own grief that he let her go and did not look for her. Oh, we're at a uh, first quarter. Day six, Wednesday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Old man of Coniston looks out across the lake with blind eyes. His mind wanders with the current floating southwards towards the fork. The heavens open up as I reach the fork. I take a moment to pause and listen to the sound of water on water. I'm soaked through, but my spirits are high as I return home. I'm not empty-handed. Two new plants today. Ooh, it's storming. Buddy. Oh, very similar looking um, colors and general shapes, but different shaped flowers, different position of leaves. Nape. Okay, so these ones are new. Light purple flowers, smell alluring. Dark purple flowers. So help, much wow. Okay. Hi, Kuya. You've come back. Meow. Meow. 
meow, meow. Hello, Eleanor Bramer. The insects make the salt marshes uninhabitable. People stay away and not much grows there, but I know where to find an unusual plant. I've drawn you a map in case you decide it's worth your time. Why, well, thank you. Also, I've got some kind of plant here that's supposed to be good against bug whatevers. Here we go. Fruit can have a startling effect on memory. When the outer layer hardens and turns blue green, it's ready to harvest. Turquoise in color. Fruits. And chalk. looking for the one with the bug thing. Heart. For effective insect repellent. Okay. Blue winter after the Cool blue gray flowers. I have that one. Where? What? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Hidden. Okay. Okay. Um. No, it wasn't Simone that told me the last thing, so I can't necessarily figure out what the person said. Just this map piece. I don't remember. Oh, okay, so we got ocean, probably. Looks like it might be right here. Unless it's over here. No, that doesn't work. Said swamps of something. Nope, not that one. Oh boy. Okay, let's water plants and then figure out what the heck's going on. Looks like beep boop, it's four o'clock, fun time is over. Yeah, I think I started just a little late. So I wanna, I'm, maybe I'll finish up this day. 
Or maybe I'll just try locating this spot. Oh, I forgot I, had, I, forgot, I, forgot, I forgot I had to stay on a plan in order to get the points. Me too! There's a stone circle here, too. I want to check that out first. Shudder the thought of what happened here. These stones could tell us what they saw. Chill comes over me and I realize I did not want to linger. Okay. Sorry. Oh, no. I got dread points for that. Interesting. Okay. The, uh, the person said something about a swamp. Which I'm assuming is what these are. But I'm not entirely sure. Um. Hi, Kuya. Nope. Uh, da, da, da. I don't. Okay. Kuya, it's difficult to see. She drew me a map, but I wish she would have uh, put notes with it. I thought I'd be able to read what she said later, but she's not somebody who shows up on the bios. So I don't think I can look up what she said. I mean, this does look fairly much like this spot, but how do I determine, like, where this X is precisely? Just any of these ones, I guess. I don't know. The air is thick with flying biting insects, an unbearable plague. I fight against it for mere moments before I'm overwhelmed. If only I had some blue winter to keep them at bay. Where did I put my... Why is this one so hard to find? The blue winter saves my skin, but the swirling mass of insects is so thick in places that it is hard to see. At length, I come across what I came for and hurry away. Oh, collect this. Dranthium, mens fortis. A plant with powerful mind-altering abilities. Those who inhale smoke from the burning, its long, sharp leaves elevate their awareness up to levels otherwise unachievable. Some know Dranthium as green eye. The name derived from the telltale signs of overdose, where the eyes, where the whites of the eyes take on a green tint. Ooh, interesting. Okay, give me that plant. Piranha plant, kind of. Close that. Give me this. Those thorns look menacing. I'm staying well clear of them. Okay, this can go into the archives now. Uh, yeah, I think I'll wrap it up here. <sighs> ah, Alright, I'll pick us up again next week. It's a short game. It says the, the internet says about five hours, so chances are I'll finish it next Wednesday. Um... Let's see, I haven't decided what to do necessarily on Friday, but probably 
either more Pokemon drawings or I'll start some Winterfell stuff. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Thank you, everybody who came in. Uh, have a great evening. I am off to eat something and then work on the driveway because it snowed a lot. Okay. Goodbye. See you all on Friday, I hope. Have a good evening. Stay safe. Stay warm. Be true. Be brave. Be kind. I don't know. All of the things. Talk to you uh, later. Ending screen. I remembered that I have an ending screen. Screen. Not a scream. Not a scream. Okay, goodbye.